Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. So there it is, the Regan Naya turntable. I just finished reviewing it on the Tracking Angle website. I hope you've read that review. And if not, please read the review after you see this video tour. I took the uh, platter off so you could see underneath. The first thing you, you notice is the, uh, the shape of the plinth is very similar to the P10, but it's very, very different. Um, this is a graphene impregnated, extremely stiff material on both sides of a tan, tan cast um, eight foam core, but the P10's uh, tan cast eight foam core is sandwiched with a much less stiff uh, and less expensive laminate. Also, um, this ceramic oxide stiffening frame here is on top. On the bottom of the P10 is a, uh, a much less rigid material. This uses the same ceramic material on top and bottom. And that makes a big difference in how stiff the turntable is. And the stiffer, the better, the more it's able to deal with vibrations that are uh, coming from inside and outside uh, into it. Another difference is this uh, subplatter. This is a much more sophisticated subplatter and uses three belts. The belts that Riga uses are not like O-rings that you buy off the shelf. It's a very special uh, product that they make themselves. The difficult yeah. thing for us is to explain to people just how much work is going into what looks no, like an open. <laughs> right, but isn't. But isn't, no, yeah. not at all. Um, and even this material, we've just spent four years developing the material, which we are really quite excited about how this is going to transform performance turntables for us. And the O-ring tool is a square block of steel, right. um, maybe this size, and, and it will be about 30 millimetres thick and it will have a groove cut into it to make the ring. Yeah, now let's say the ring's that big, the groove will be... Right, I got you. And like then, that. Then you pour okay, that's them. a semicircle. Right. And then there'll be another half that fits on it, and oh. it has locating pins here to locate the two halves together. Right. You can imagine that, you know, just a small difference between one of those is going to... It's not going to be... Right. Okay. Okay. What they actually do to make it commercially viable is they put another ring in here. So they can make two, two different sizes at the same time? Well, they usually make ten. ten. Ten different sizes. Yeah, they yeah. put another one in yeah. here. For different purposes. Yeah, 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 other, sizes, yeah, yeah. Other, yeah. These are British standard sizes. Yeah. You, you right. could just phone up. I could get you O-rings tomorrow from our local supplier. Right. British, they would be plus or minus three thousandths of an inch on those okay. diameters. And then, and then they, so then, okay, they pour, the, how does it, the, wherever this material is. The, the rubber okay. is like plasticine. Oh, here we are. Yeah, these are standard They're O rings. These are standard O rings. Okay. These are standard So, how do they, but I, I want to go, how do they, pour, they pour off material? No, in? The, the, the rubber um, can either be just put in as a slab, it's like plasticine oh, I get when you. it's okay. uncured, and the, the other top comes and squashes it out, or if you want it a little bit more accurate, they extrude. The plasticine into a long thin string and then they fit it in here and just fudge the end and then okay. they then close it down and then close it and then it's heated for about typically 10 minutes but varying cycles depending on the right. material and the time and how well you want the cure okay what what we do is and this, this is what we're doing at the moment but it's very but we make a round tool first because the temperature will be more even over the tool okay. we have a large hole in the middle which um, if we're looking in section at that it has a tapered location in the middle of the tool right. and then the groove is turned and we make only one on each tool and the groove is turned at the same time that that taper is turned so that it's exactly centered onto the taper. Yeah, so the concentricity has to be perfect. Right. Okay. This is where the NASA tool maker, he, he's making O-rings for space rockets, which you can imagine. Do you, do you remember the failure? One of bad, yeah, well, the temperature was a problem. It wasn't yep. as O-ring. But it, it, it was about the O-rings going too hard at lower temperature. Right. He, he can make O-rings for space. He can't make O-rings for us accurately enough. Really? Really? Seriously. I'm really serious. And But he, because he can't, he's up for the challenge. I see. Now this is a standard O-ring. This is a standard O-ring out of this kit. 
and you'll probably see inside this o-ring you'll see a split the ridge line. you'll see the ridge yeah yeah well mate yeah. hopefully the camera can see that and that'll be part of a mismatch between the two halves I see. that Roy is explaining how with different tooling we avoid I see. yeah and of course that split will give you speed issues for a turn turn sure. yeah okay so what what, what just one characteristic of the material that's important is its um, is its, his, its hysteresis, its modulus, if you like, right. when it's been moulded. This is how it behaves, how it stretches, how it recovers its hardness, and how con consistent that hardness is in the belt. And if you feel this drive belt, if you just gently feel that, okay, you can you'll, you'll feel a characteristic there. Right. Okay. So just to show you the subtleties we're working with, this is a, a new prototype we're working on. It's a little you feel a difference. Yes, you can almost you can. actually feel a squishiness as you move it right in where your fingertips yeah, just, are. You it can just feels different. Yeah, to you, yeah. absolutely. And and th these these characteristics of the rubber material itself, and these are two different types of rubber yeah. put together. Right. Uh, one's an EPDM, one's a polychloroprene. This is an extremely sophisticated O-ring, if you want to call it an O-ring, and that makes a big difference. And when you look at the review on the Tracking Angle website, you will see the measurements of this turntable. The speed accuracy and the speed consistency measurements are remarkable, I mean, for any turntable. Uh, under here, and I'm not going to lift it up, under here is a ceramic oxide bearing and uh, spindle. So extremely difficult to make. starts out as a powder, and uh, they machine them and make them so that it becomes a pair that are never separated and it's uh, it runs on a thin coating of oil and it's an extremely low noise low vibration system very very costly that's one of the big differences in the cost of the Naya which costs twelve thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars compared to the P10 which is about six thousand without a cartridge so that's one of the big cost differences so also here you have um, new very low mass feet and they do a really good job of isolating this platform from whatever platform it's on. Now I use a really good um, HRS base but regardless of what you put it on, also it has to be level because you can't level these feet. People say sometimes well the Riga motors are mounted right to the plinth that's got to be a noise producer. Not in this case. Uh, they've got a new sophisticated way of mounting the motor and it's extremely quiet. I mean extremely quiet. You, you, Nothing comes through. I'm just going to go down here so you can see. There's the bottom of the motor mount and there you can see the ceramic, the rest of the ceramic bearing there. Okay. Oh, also, you know, some of the readers uh, wondered wh what, what the shelf life of this Tancast 8 foam is and it's a, it's got a very very long shelf life and it's used in aerospace and it's used in all sorts of uh, far more critical uh, applications than for a turntable and it, it'll outlast you and your grandchildren and your children and they guarantee it for life so you can't go wrong so that's that part of it now let's look at the arm so all of these Riga arms uh, are um, they look similar but they're not this is the RB titanium arm and the the vertical bearing is in a titanium housing and the counterweight stub is a tungsten counterweight stub with a tungsten counterweight and I know the skeptics will say well so what does that mean well, it's just a more expensive metal it makes a sonic difference all of these different materials make sonic differences. And of course, the bearings they're using in here are the, are the highest quality bearings. And so, uh, this is this is Riga's most sophisticated arm. And that's why they're using it on here. All the titanium parts and the tungsten parts. Now, uh, this is the Aphelion 2 cartridge. And you'll have to go to the review to read about the cartridge and the unique... Uh, way in which this cartridge is designed and manufactured and the fact that when I did because with the Riga arm you can't adjust azimuth and you can't adjust vertical tracking angle stylus rake angle so you're at the mercy of the cartridge manufacturer so if Riga doesn't offer a way to adjust a vertical tracking angle stylus rake angle or azimuth 
they better make sure that the cartridge is manufactured perfectly. And this particular one here, which I know some cynics will say, well, they sent you one that was perfect. Uh, no, this came right off. This came right out of uh, inventory at sound organization. This was perfectly manufactured. The stylus rake angle measured 90 to, approximately 92 to 92.5 degrees. And the uh, separation between the channels was perfect and, and balanced. So it, it was perfectly manufactured. And it sounds really, really good. So those are the basics of this Naya turntable, an extremely, extremely high quality, friction-free ceramic bearing, a triple O-ring, quote unquote, drive. If you have three belts on there that are not exactly the same, they're going to beat against one another, and you're going to actually have worse sound than if you had one belt. But when they're perfectly manufactured like this, as the numbers, the measurement numbers prove, it is extremely well done, and it's and it maintains not just speed, but speed consistency in the measurements that I did. All right, and then of course there's a high quality pulley over there. This is a ceramic. new ceramic platter developed specifically for the Naya. It's not the same one that's on the P10. It's very very heavy, and as you can see, it's manufactured in such a way that there's more mass around the periphery of the platter to improve the uh, rotational accuracy of the platter by having the mass around the outside. And I'm going to turn it over now and show you the top. It's a heavy piece of goods. And I am absolutely not going to attempt to put this on with one hand on the camera and one hand on the platter because that would be very dangerous. Uh, as great as this bearing is, it is fragile in the sense that you do not want to bang it from the top. So when you put the platter on top, you want to be very, very careful. So I'm just going to do that. And I'll be right back. And now it's all back together again. So there it is, the Riga Naya turntable. Uh, they've put everything they've learned from their Nyad turntable, which they sold a few up at $45,000. Everything they learned in that is put into this. So just to summarize quickly, you have an extremely rigid graphene impregnated carbon fiber material on the outsides as a sandwich. You have the Tancast 8 in between. You, you have, have double ceramic oxide braces top and bottom, which increases the stiffness between the arm and the bearing. And you have triple O-ring drive, and you have very very low mass feet you know it's funny sometimes you get in these turntables to review and there are these big to do complicated feet with multiple neoprene insides and o-rings and and points and stars and stripes and all kinds of things and then you put it in a system and you touch you tap on the platform and it goes boing 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 through the speaker so it, despite all that sophistication quote unquote nothing's done Nothing, nothing. It doesn't make a difference. This low mass, seemingly simple foot, you tap it, very, very little comes through. And if you tap it right here while the stylus is in the groove, it's very, very quiet. Everything they say they tried to accomplish with this turntable, they did accomplish. And that's why it measures and sounds phenomenal. And yeah, it's $12,999, but you know what? You can buy this, and, and you have to add uh, extra for the Aphelion 2 cartridge. So it's $16,999 as a complete package. But you buy it, you open the box, you could have it up and running in 10 minutes because it's all ready to go. You just have to put the counterweight on and uh, and balance the arm and add, add the stylus pressure and the anti-skating. This is the Riga motor controller for the Naya. Uh, if you've got... $17,000 to spend, and you want a, a really fine performing, lightweight, easy to set up Gary or Gary Haber. and you want to get a call from your account while you're shooting a video, get my account. All right, thank you.